Hey everyone, it's Adam here. Um, I couldn't find on the internet any videos on how to take off the beak or the lens of the uh, Climb Creos Pro. None. There's a PDF on Climb's website which goes through it. I thought it'd be helpful for people that are just getting this uh, out of the box the first time. It comes without. Um, it comes with the the, the um, shield pre-installed, but you have to install the pin lock, and it does not come with the beak installed. So um, to install the beak, assume this is already in the down position. You're going to start by taking a Phillips head screwdriver or a penny and just undoing this. Take this all, remove this completely. Take this all the way off. And the first thing you're going to do is you're just going to mount this be, um, beak right there. Uh, you know, either one of these holes is fine. If you turn this about six or seven times, then you can move this between the two holes. I've got it in the lower position, but it's easy to adjust with uh, fingers, pocket knife, key, whatever. Now, for removing the uh, shield, which is pre-installed here, you've got these clips. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take this and you're going to push this all the way down. You can do it with your fingers or a little pair of uh, pliers. But push this down to the other side. Same thing on the side, all the way down. And then once you get all the, the down position, um, this is going to feel loose. See that's starting to come off? So um, that's it. It's just basically pushes all the way in. Now you're going to see, let's move this out of the way. You're going to see here that with this, when this comes out, um, there's your beak piece. This uh, shield needs to hook into this little tooth right there on the bottom, and then it wraps around about halfway recessed onto this little piece right there. That's when you know you're locked back in place, and then you can push this back on. When you remove the shield the first time, you undo both of these, and then you pull this out like this, and it just comes straight off. Um, and then for reinstallation, you just get this line back up like this. Put this down. They are not side specific, these little pins. You can use either, either one, and Klein gives you two extras, which is kind of nice. There's that, and then turn all the way up in the up position, and you're back in. So uh, these should be facing up a little bit towards the sky when you're done. Um, most of you are gonna put the beak right on. Uh, Climb does mention that if you're going to use a transition shield, use it without the beak because you might get some spots that are not um, are not darkened out because of the shade of the beak. I'm going to run the transition shield for a while and see if, what I think about it. But um, yeah, I, I know this is a quick video, but people, uh, I swear, there was a ton of reviews of this thing and no one indicated how to um, how to remove that uh, that piece. So I think it would be helpful. Hope it was. Thanks for watching.